Academy. My name is Jay Bovi. Uh, I create websites, mobile apps, and softwares. So the ultimate goal of this class is to teach you how to create websites and uh, web applications. So for this, we are going to learn hypertext markup language, cascading style sheets, JavaScript, Bootstrap, PHP, and MySQL. So for HTML, CSS, and JS, it will be more front-end. Then now for PHP and MySQL, it will be more of a back-end. So we have tools that we are going to use. So straight to the point, uh, on your computer, uh, visit Visual Studio Code, and then you download it. Although we have a number of other, uh, of other, of other applications, we have uh, so many applications that we can use as editor. But I love using Visual Studio Code one because it is a, it is a very diligent. Uh, although we have, if you say HTML editor on your browser on your search engine, uh, HTML editors, you'll get a lot of them. You'll get a lot of them. We have so many HTML editors, so many of them. We have Sublime Text, we have uh, Visual Studio, we have. Uh, uh, Adobe Dreamweaver, uh, Composer, and many others. But I like using uh, Visual Studio Code because of its diligence. This means that uh, one, you, in case you introduce some errors on your code, then Visual Studio Code is able to 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 assist you. Now it also has the autocomplete feature, meaning uh, when you are typing, at least it tries tries to suggest to you uh, the code. That means it understands uh, the language that you are trying to code with. Uh, the other thing is that you need uh, a computer with a browser. So I believe that your computer has either uh, Chrome, Google Chrome, or maybe Internet Explorer, or maybe Firefox, or any other browser. That is what you need for now. So a good example of uh, websites that we are going to create is, uh, for example, the Safaricom website, uh, maybe a Math Academy website. And then at the end of the day, we also learn how to host so that people can be able to access the website uh, from far there. The other thing that we'll also be able to achieve uh, in this lesson is to create uh, web applications or portals. For example, the KRI portal, uh, just an application where people can be able to log in, log out, interact with the system, or uh, post something, upload documents, etc. etc. So that is part of what we expected to achieve by learning uh, uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and then Bootstrap, then on the backend PHP, or even Python and MySQL as the database. So I hope you have downloaded Visual Studio Code so you can just open and then from there you install. Of course, the procedure of installing Visual Studio Code is just the normal procedure. Uh, you open, then you click next, 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 finish. Then from there, uh, you launch it. Uh, I had already installed, but let me just take you uh, through the procedure. Uh, this class assumes some of you are not from an IT background. So they may be having challenges with just some small, small things. So we are not assuming that, uh, yes, you are coming from IT or computer science. No, no, no. We we actually targeting people who even have zero tech background. They only have uh, the computer application skills. So that is how you install a software and any other software in a, a Windows environment. Then once you're done, just click uh, finish, and then you launch your Visual Studio Code. So before we use Visual Studio Code, there are a few extensions that we like you to have. So click extensions, then you search live server live server will help us to be able to launch the application straight to the to the to, with using the browser using the default browser so you click install me i'd already installed so i don't need to have that then another thing another extension that i'd like you to have is the community material theme so you also install that after that you come to settings come to color theme then select either of the themes that you wish they may work for you uh, for look and feel, but that is not uh, very important. That is not mandatory. Now let us start. We would like to create a, 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 a local application. We'd like to create a, a, a website. 
and uh, I will start by creating a new folder and then I will call this project of mine Smart Kids Academy. So I want to assume that I went to Smart Kids Academy, they, I got some uh, some contract there that I can create their website and then maybe we have a grid. Uh, later we'll learn how to do the pricing, how to negotiate with clients, uh, the whole entrepreneurial journey of a developer. But for now, let's get our uh, soil, our ants stretch with code. Inside Smart Kids Academy project, I can create a folder where I will put my images and maybe another folder where I will put uh, maybe my cascading style sheets and another folder where I will put all my JavaScript files. So once I'm done, I'll go to uh, Visual Studio and open my project. Open folder file, open folder. Go to desktop, then you search for your folder, which was Smart Kids Academy. There you go. My project is this, but it doesn't have files with it. So how do we create files? These folders are empty, of course. So under the mother folder, which is this, I will create a new file. I will call it index.html. Then I press enter. You realize that this file is the initial file that you must create always. Why? Because servers always tend to look for this file in your project. When you host this application online, this is the file that server will launch first. But now you can create the rest. Like now you have like services email enter and another file like maybe contact us dot html enter so my files are empty so we'll go straight to the point inside the index file i would like us to write our code there this is hypertext markup language and it starts with uh, tags so a tag looks like this you type a less than sign then maybe html greater than sign now you realize that the uh, visual studio code does auto completion so it completes for you automatically that's why i opened html i closed but again you don't need to type all this yeah like uh if you just say html then enter then again visual studio will complete it for you inside html we type head tag and then inside the head tag, we type the title of our web page. Uh, my page, I will call, I'll give it a title, home page. Home page is my title. Then after the head, I will create the body tag. Body tag. So don't worry about the numbering on the left. Yeah, uh, doesn't matter. But every other now content uh, will be inside the body tag here. Instead of doing all that, you can just type HTML, then you pick HTML5, then it will auto-generate for you. Then maybe you change the title to the title of your own wish. Uh, there are many other things that have been generated. Of course, this is HTML5, sorry. There are many things that have been generated. Uh, I'll just take just roughly uh, one minute to explain. Doc type means document type is HTML. Language is English. Meta car set is this, this is the default character that is accepted. Of course, now the normal character encoding. Then we have uh, this line telling the browsers that uh, uh, this page is compatible to most browsers, including Internet Explorer and Edge. Then uh, we have uh, uh, viewports meaning the display uh, that can fit should be able to fit in all the devices width and then initial scale or initial zooming is one of course uh, that that is very important now we can go straight to every other page and do something similar to that html enter then the title uh, our services then index, of course, uh, contact, sorry, HTML, enter, title, contact, 
else so those are my three pages that are set to go so i'll go inside the index file and write my code there so before we proceed at least you need to achieve something similar to that before you proceed you need to have achieved that so you can create as many pages as possible you can create as many files as possible depending on the scope of your of your website thank you uh, let's meet in the next uh, lesson